How to charge Nissan Aria. Before paying attention to detail, let's relate to what powers the Aria once again. The car comes in two separate variants, powered by either 63 kilowatts or an 87 kilowatt usable battery. The front wheel drive, FWD, variant generates 238 horsepower, whereas in the all wheel drive, AWD category, there are two distinct versions available. An E Force variant pushes all boundaries and is the top of the line variant of the car producing a staggering 389 horsepower to the wheels. The other AWD car comes packed with 302 horsepower, not falling behind at all in both performance and comfort. If you look at 0 to 100 of all three of these cars, the FWD trails with a time of 7.6 seconds, with the E Force AWD variant achieving the same in just 5.1 seconds. The normal AWD does that in 5.7 seconds. The specs themselves may be appealing, but we are missing an important piece of information that directly influences the charging details. That's right, it's the range of this specific EV. Much like how mileage is for an engine-based vehicle, if we talk about the FWD category, according to the Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicle Test Procedure, WLTP, the car has a range of 500 kilometers and a single charge. For the E-Force variant, the range is 400 kilometers, and for the other AWD version, it is 460 kilometers. If you talk about the charging times of these vehicles, the AWD 87 kilowatt variant goes from empty to full in roughly 14 hours on a 7.4 kilowatt charging point at home. Alternatively, you can opt for rapid chargers available at numerous charging points, which can enable over an 80% charge in roughly half an hour. The maximum charge power of the car is 130 kilowatts. An interesting point to note here is the shift from an air-cooled to a liquid-cooled technology. The Nissan LEAF used to come with an air-cooled battery, whereas the Aria prefers the liquid-cooled system. According to Makoto Fukata, Aria's chief product specialist, the reason for doing this was to enhance the range and charging time of the EV. Plus, it helps attach a fake grill at the front of the car, making it look even more aesthetically appealing. Aerodynamics have been kept in mind though, and they are what help the car accelerate at unimaginable magnitudes. The $46,000 to $59,000 vehicle has a Type 2 charging port. For the European and North American variants of the car, the Aria will have a 130 kilowatt DC Swift charging system, making use of the CCS standard. CCS is a short form for combined charging system, which is rapidly becoming popular even amongst Tesla. The purpose of doing so was to possibly add up to 175 miles of range. The charging port is to be located on the passenger side of the vehicle. For Japan, however, things are a bit different. The Japanese are looking forward to using the CHADEMO standard, which basically means that the car contains two ports on either side, a DC quick charging port and a Type 2 port. This enables two separate outlets for the car to either quick charge at any charging station or to charge at your home. As mentioned in an earlier video as well, the car has a ProPilot Assist technology, which, somewhat like a Tesla, enables hands-off driving at certain instances, for example, on a highway to change lanes automatically, etc. If we talk about the 63 kilowatt battery variant, charging it with a NEMA 5 to 15 socket would take you 39 hours for full charge at 9 kilometers per hour. Who would wait that much? Alternatively, you can use a NEMA 14 to 50 socket, which would take you just 9 hours for full charge. The charging speed for this outlet is 38 kilometers per hour. A Tesla supercharger does the same in just 1 hour and 10 minutes at a speed of 63 kilometers per hour. Another interesting feature of the car is to charge it through your smartphone and when electricity costs are lower. The car's infotainment plays a crucial role in locating the nearest charging stations as well. Do you like the Nissan Aria? What are your thoughts on the range and charging time of the car? Would you consider purchasing it? If so, which version appeals to you the most? Answer these questions in the comment section down below. For those of you who are still here, gracias! Before you leave, don't forget to share a token of love and appreciation by clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel. Share the video with your friends to know about their views on this all-electric SUV. By clicking the bell icon, 
Make it certain that you are the first to be notified whenever a new video has been uploaded. Till next time, take care. Adios.